is there anything you'd like to say directly yourself? You're not required to speak. You have this opportunity if you wish. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, well, I wrote, I wrote my letter. Excuse me. I wrote that letter that you've received, and I believe Mrs. Sylvie's received it as well. Um, so I just I wrote that to hopefully express my deep remorse, my sincere th sympathy and apology for my actions on that day, October 14, 2018. I think about that day at some point every day. I think about Mrs. Sylvie, Mr. Sylvie. I pray for them. I pray that Mr. Sylvie is home with the Lord. Mrs. Sylvie will heal mentally and physically, and most importantly, spiritually. I look forward to this day where I can verbalize my remorse and my sincere apology to Mrs. Sylvie and her family for their loss. I know I can't bring Mr. Sylvie back. I wish I could. I pray for their forgiveness. My wife and I prayed regularly for this plea offer to come, and when it came, I knew it was the right thing to do so that people that were hurt and affected by this did not have to endure a trial. I wish this day would have come so much sooner so that people's healing could begin. I've learned through recovery that all my actions have a ripple effect, positive or negative. This one had many negatives. I strive daily now to only have positives. I've done what I can to improve myself, improve my life, and the lives of those around me. I'm truly remorseful. And I accept responsibility for my actions. And I had never heard that Silly forgave me. are required and more importantly repentance is required and that's what I work on every single day is to repent which in our faith is defined as making a 180 degree turn away from sin away from self-righteousness away from judgment and away from arrogance and many people have asked me what they can pray for in these days leading up to this day today and I and Mrs. Sylvia have prayed and ask them to pray that God's will be done because I know if his will is done, I'll be 